So if you have an M1 MacBook Air or Pro, you gotta be aware of this. It is happening with uh, some people reportedly. Some users are reporting that their M1 MacBooks have been bricked because of using USB-C hubs, particularly using the pass-through charging. So if you are using any USB-C hub, I personally suggest you not to use it, especially for the pass-through charging, at least for the time being, until we hear more about it. So anyway, in this video, I'll talk about what devices I personally use to make the dongle life a bit easier. So often we see these type of USB hubs with multiple ports that seem to solve all the problems and they are like the absolute best. But not every user needs the absolute best. I mean, people have different use cases. So let me talk about the main three problems and alternatively how you can solve them on a budget as well. So let's talk about the most common problem for most people that is solving the USB-A port problem. I mean, connecting your hard drives, pen drives, mobile phones or your Bluetooth earphones, you get the idea. So for this, all you need is a small dongle like this, USB-C to USB-A dongle. This costs around 300 rupees or under $5, but there are some cheaper versions available, but don't buy them because they can actually damage your port. So keep that in mind. I'll drop a link to all of these in the description as well. So I suggest you getting two or three of these devices and keep them plugged with your devices like pen drives or hard drives that you frequently use. So you don't have to plug them every time you use them. So that way it is kind of more convenient, I would say. I mean, you almost forget that you're actually living a dongle life. Now another thing is the memory card slot. Now there are a lot of creators who use this almost on a daily basis. So for this, you can actually get a cheap card reader and use it with this USB-C hub itself. But I personally chose to buy this separate gadget that costs around 600 rupees. Now this comes with both the USB-C and the A ports. And not just that, you can also use it with older devices like the micro USB devices. So it is not just limited to your MacBook. It also comes with additional USB-A port as well along with a couple of memory card slots. So if you don't use a memory card on a daily basis, then you don't need to get this as well. But if you are like me, use this frequently, then it's totally worth getting this. Another thing is solving the HDMI port problem to connect your Mac to external devices. So I personally don't do that currently at least, but if you do, then you can get a gadget like this that is generally uh, not too expensive. Now, if you are someone with a heavy use case, then definitely getting a single USB-C hub makes more sense. But there are a lot of regular users out there who don't require all of these. And these USB-C hubs are like an overkill and they are expensive too. And all the dongles together that I talked about in this video still cost way less than a single USB-C hub like under 2000 rupees. The bottom line is just look at your use case and take the decision wisely rather than looking at the absolute best that some other people are buying because their use cases may be different from you. So anyway, that's been it guys. If you found this video helpful, please like this video. Also subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.